So what's going on with the feds and their fucking indictments? Just put it right down there. The lawyer here, the bill. The book is off on the 14th Ward. I don't want to minimize your position, Corrado. Two prior convictions. That places you in jeopardy of sentence under the habitual offender statute. I'm paying you four an hour to hear shit that's already eating my inside. I'd be happy to surrender, Mr. Soprano. You can be assured of my full cooperation. You'd rather they kicked in your front door in the middle of the night? It's a target letter, Corrado. I wasn't getting anywhere, so I asked him point blank what your status was. Just testing. That's what a good lawyer would do. So what'd they say? They'd let me know when it was appropriate. I may just stop paying taxes. Fuck. <laughs> what for fun? I'm sick and tired of sitting around on my hands. Uh, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Down to Boca with your lady friend? What the fuck you know about it? Works for the Joint Fitters Union, didn't somebody say? Runs their, uh, labor management fund outside the Fed's oversight. If you can't get your friends jobs, what's the purpose of attaining success? The wheels of justice turn slowly. Take her to Florida. Your Honor, this man should not be removed from custody for medical reasons. And every time we get one of these elder mafiosos incarcerated, we get the same bag of tricks. Your Honor, I take offense at the characterization of my client as a mafioso. Mr. Soprano has not been found guilty of anything. He's awaiting trial for alleged offenses. Noted. With all due respect to the state's medical facilities, in his condition, Mr. Soprano has every right to pursue the best possible medical care that he can afford. Mr. Soprano is suffering from a very benign illness, a few clogged arteries, Your Honor. I'm leaning towards releasing this man from lockup, unless you can demonstrate a serious flight risk. Mr. Soprano, if I approve this, you will be under what is called house arrest. Do you understand this concept? Not really. It means that you must remain in your primary residence and cannot leave, except for uh, doctor's appointments, uh, food shopping. Your Honor, the government asks for an electronic bracelet. Your Honor, while we certainly agree to house arrest, we are asking that Mr. Soprano not be further persecuted for yet-to-be-proven allegations. He shows no prior arrest since 1968. He pays his taxes, and he's a veteran of the Second World War. Uh, Mr. Soprano, do you have any problem with uh, wearing an electronic bracelet? It sounds like Nazi Germany to me. Obviously, you need a history lesson, sir. I don't think that we, you and I, should let our shared sorrow or biases enter into this, Judge. He's wearing a bracelet to avoid any risk of flight. This bill, Mel. Jesus. I wish this fucking trial would happen already. I'm hemorrhaging spondulics here. The minimization process could be very good for us, Corrado. We hire experts to study the wiretap tapes. Former bureau guys, very thorough. If they find abuses, we take those findings to the judge and possibly have all the wiretap evidence thrown out. That's fucking great. I know the Fed stay on the phone long in the 20 seconds they're allowed to see if the call is relevant. I hear a click. I could be talking about root beer, and sometimes they stay on 40, 50 seconds before they hang up. Pricks. But it'll cost the study. How much? 200 plus hours of tapes to analyze, and I want to bring on specialized counsel to handle the wiretap litigation. Ballpark figure? Yeah, yeah, Wrigley fucking Field, for Christ's sake. 400,000. Oh, man, Bacala is okay with this. What do you give a shit anyway? What is it with you on these power trips? What the fuck are you talking about? Pardon me. May I? Hey. Your girl got any coffee out there? Oh, I think we can wrestle some up. Tax code, another client, IRS troubles. Sorry, Mel. Find a place they're not allowed to bug. Dr. Shrek's office has a full waiting room. I sit too much anyway. <laughs> Testimony detailing misuse of joint fitters 401k funds. Your reaction? No comment. Mr. Soprano, Allison Pat, Channel 6. Allison, huh? Oh. 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 Oh.
Has he been shot? He got hit in the head by a boom. John, I'm here at the federal courthouse where reputed mob boss Corrado Soprano just fell. Nine, no, seven steps. Follow my finger. He said they'll do this every hour. Check the neurological. You want to go? Family's on the way. Thank you. My daughter's addressing the Irish Parliament. Abortion issues. Corrado, I gotta go. I gotta catch a plane. I'll be back Monday. Feel better. Make sure Pepe gets my chicken home. Corrado, you didn't get to the early bird special. Glad you're feeling bad. better. Better. This is Xanadu compared to that courtroom. I'm milking this thing for all it's worth. Maybe you're not milking it enough. What? You don't by any chance have any headaches or blurred vision or any of that shit, do you? No. Nah. Okay, then. Who are you calling? They charge a fortune. Yellow. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Just on the way to St. Stephen's Green. Grab some dinner. Why? What's going on? What's going on? Back here in the States, I think we got a mistrial. Our psychiatrist will testify as to your reduced mental capacity. Of course, the government will bring in their own expert. Now, we get you 24-hour day nursing care. Because they still didn't rule out the dementia, and uh, you might be a danger to yourself, and uh, blah, blah, blah. Which only bolsters our case. If the court finds you lack fitness to proceed, the trial will be suspended, and the charges against you dismissed with prejudice or delayed. I call this woman. She runs an elder care agency. She's got an RN that'll play ball. All you gotta do is act two bots. Crazy like a fox, my little nephew. Now get me the fuck out of here. No. The smoking basket from you and your partners. It's the least we could do.